All right, here at No Reserve, we have our beautiful, all original, one owner 1984 GMC Caballero, which uh, previously was called the GMC Sprint. Um, but it's basically the Chevy El Camino. It's just GMC's version, kind of like the Chevy Silverado and the GMC Sierra. But it's really nice, two factory two-tone. It's like kind of a dark burgundy maroon color and uh, got the silver on the bottom. It's all original except for uh, has an aftermarket stereo in it and it's got the staggered 15-inch rallies with BFGTAs. Uh, it's got 235s up front and 275s in the rear, so it's got a nice stance. But the original 14-inch rally wheels come with it, so if that you want to go all original, then uh, you can go that route. But the paint and body is beautiful condition. The interior is in just amazing condition. It's got 134,000 original miles. Um, we'll take you around to the front here, and we'll go over. It's got you know some wear and tear for being its age. Um, and all the lenses are in nice shape, the rubbers are in good shape, but they are a little bit faded. Uh, the chrome on the, both the front and rear bumpers is a it does have some aging, but it's still got nice nice depth and reflection. You can see a little, little fading in the silver areas here, but no teeth missing, no cracks. You know, you got little marks here, probably had a bug guard on it at one point. Um, but these are often cracked out right here because they're kind of a rubbery plastic. They're a nice shape. You know, they use those on the Cadillacs too, and then this part's actually metal, but, um, and those things are always cracked out. And then on the Cutlasses, it just kind of was a thing of the era. Uh, GMC logo's still in place, got nice red, front and back, nice silver. Um, it does have some scratch, scratch right there, some scratching along the front here. Um, got a little ding, and then it's a little surface rust where it went past the primer. Um, you do have some little... You know, you will have some little chips because it is a dark color um, on the top of the hood. You got a little ding right there, little ding right there. I don't know, something maybe fell out of the garage or something and dinged it, but you got a little chip right there. But you got these little guys that will uh, be on the top of the hood. I'll take you around here. I mean, the paint's got really nice depth and reflection. I mean, I took a, a photo of the... Uh, original sales brochure that comes with it and uh, it's the, the depth and reflection on it's just in, incredible but you can see me here and I'll, I'll go around the other side and show the depth but um, you know tires are pretty much like new wheels are in excellent shape it's got the 67 style disc brake caps but it doesn't have a Chevy logo in it because it's a GMC um, take you around here nice depth you do have a little bit of uh, you know a little bit of road debris that you know like it looks like maybe tar on the bottom but it does come off your fingernail so you could get some goof off and get that off a little chip right here and a little gnarl in the rubber uh, the chrome is delaminated a little bit right there on the molding and then right here on the molding so it's chipped off got a little mark near the keyhole you got a couple little door edge chips the you know, door's shut really nice. I mean, the door handles got good spring to them. You know, a lot of times these get worn out and they just kind of flap, and make that metal metal sound. But you can see the original pa painted pinstripe just shuts perfect. Really nice gaps. The, some of the rubbers are a little cracked. You know, from age. You know, it's 33 years old. So, I mean, it's just a killer car. Really nice paint along here. You can look in the rain gutters. Really nice condition. It's got the factory sunroof. Pretty much came with every option. It came with the factory tonneau cover, the rally wheels that the that you'll see in the pictures. Um, got these these side loaded these I don't know what they call these things but they're in the the actual sales brochure talks about it um, you know it's got the bumper guards front and back the two-tone paint the wheel well trim all that stuff and you got a little ding right here soft one with a uh, no paint damage but you will have your stone chips down on the bottom silver area from driving um, just those real little ones you have a real thin scratch right there but you look underneath the gas door, it's just really nice, all original paint. I mean, there's no tape marks. You can go in the door jams. You know, you can't find any. Looks really good. 
I mean, got a little scratch right there, got a little chip right there. Unfortunately, this happened uh, under our ownership. Not too sure, it just kind of showed up there one day, so someone bumped into it with something. Yeah, mom's got a little, little bit of wax in it, but other than that, it looks really nice. Same thing, got a little bit of aging in the chrome, but it's still got nice and presentable. Lenses are in nice shape. Got a little scratch right there. A couple of the plastic button covers are missing. But you can see the nice, nice deep reflection on here, and the paint is really nice. I mean, if it's, and you got a little scratch right there. A little scratching right there, and then right there, looks like maybe it was touched up a long time ago in a couple spots. A little chip in the pinstriping. Got a little chip here, but again, you know, I don't see any overspray or signs of tape marks in here. If it had been repainted, it was a long time ago, and it was just an incredible job. But I mean, with these pinstripes and the way the silver looks and the maroon, I mean, you got kind of the original, you know two-tone separation mark there there's no tape mark in the moldings a lot of times they won't bother taking those off and you can tell those have been on there it looks like you know the age of the car 30 years um, looks like maybe they bumped into something just slightly rubbed up against something to put a scratch right there and a slight scratch right here and then it kind of continues right there I mean I got a little couple of these little scratches you know from kind of like maybe somebody's ring or something a little delamination in the chrome Again, you got some kind of, you know, black road debris on there, but the paint, you know, it's nice and smooth. So if you could get that off, take you around here to the front. All the trim around the windows in nice shape. I mean, it's just beautiful. Take you inside here. It's got, it's got the original GMC decal, but you'll see some rubbers, you know, are a little cracked. You know, same thing on both sides. Interior's in really nice shape. You know, you have a little, it's missing a cover here on the passion door and a couple of areas of the, where the, kind of that cheaper chrome, you know. This is when they started doing that stuff and they didn't have it perfected. But the door hinges are really clean. The Body by Fisher door sill is just really nice. It's still got nice shine to it. Logo's still in good condition. And dog legs are nice. I mean, there's not a speck of rust on this, no surface rust or anything. Um, behind the seats, perfect condition, and then still got this carpeted piece. It's really clean down here. You got your original jack, spare tire. Um, carpet's just in amazing condition. I mean, it's not flattened out or nothing. You know, it's still got a nice kind of feel to it. Kick panels aren't all sun dyed. I mean, guys who know these cars and these areas of cars, I mean, the interior's just got sun dyed really quick if they're left out in the weather um, to turn to a pink color you know after 30 years but look at all the brown the logo is really nice if I am missing this part of the center console there's a couple places online you can buy them brand new and you can find them on eBay they can send you to headliners not sagging really nice shape passenger seats pretty much got nowhere got the center console Lid isn't broken, a nice shape. The uh, glove box is a nice shape, drops right down. Got your original owner's manual, really cool to see. You got your original sales brochure. Flatten those babies out a little bit, but it talks about, you know, different trim packages. You know, it's got the cargo side rails, is what they call it. We'll go ahead and leave that right there. But you can see it's hard to get pictures of the top of the dash. I'll kind of bring you across here, but I mean, it's just in perfect shape. There's not a crack, sun dyed, no fading. I mean, it's pretty close this. Besides a little bit of wear on the uh, driver's side seat and that missing piece. I mean, it's just in phenomenal condition. I mean, look at the mirrors. Really nice driver's car, but just a little bit of cotton wood working its way in here. Nice door panel. Again, you have a little delamination. It's missing both the little plastic covers. Very 
fairly nice shape under the doors. Again, the rocker's got hardly any entry wear, as in little scuffs and stuff. You know, back of seat is really nice. I'll pop this. I'm not sure if the camera will show it in there, but I took some pictures. It's like new in there. And then that just snaps back into place. A lot of times these are just missing. Got a little entry cracking there because you sit on it and it comes down to that release piece and then there's a little from the from the seat belt rubbing so it's just kind of a design flaw. It's got the rally circle gauges. Clock still works, you can hear it. All the gauges work. Steering column. Steering wheel's got really no wear. No nicks or anything, no fading. So alright, this is going at no reserve. I'll also show you the, uh, what I was talking about. You pull out this manual. It's original sales brochure. And, I mean, you can see the depth of the paint job. Really nice reflection for kind of a not bright brochure. But over here, you guys, you can see it just really perfect. I mean, you know, I'm a few feet away. You know, so having that kind of reflection is, is pretty impressive for, you know, 30 year old paint, 33 year old paint job. So, all right, we have the cold start video and also the running and driving video. I hope you guys can take a look at. And there's, got, there's at least 150 pictures. Um, finding these El Caminos and these GMCs are really hard to find in this kind of condition. It's being original and low ownership. So, um, it's just an incredible car. And it's going at no reserve. So, good.